Welcome back to the second video of quarantine cooking. Uh, today I noticed that I was down to my last two slices of sourdough bread. So I thought to myself, what better use than a sandwich? So today I'm going to show you how I make my favorite sandwich. Now, ordinary times I usually eat a sandwich for lunch and after all my sandwich making experience, this has been my favorite sandwich to make. So. I hope you enjoy the sandwich. Let's go ahead and take a look at our ingredients. We've got our sourdough bread right here, looking pretty good. Next we've got our sandwich fillers, such as our red onion, some arugula, tomato, some sharp cheddar, and some sliced turkey. After that we have some pepperoncini, a balsamic glaze, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, and for a little bit of garnish, we have some dried oregano and some black pepper. First things first, we're going to take our bread, and we're just going to put that in the toaster for a little bit. Just like that. Shut that. And uh, we'll just let that toast for a little bit. What we want to have happen with the bread is we want just the outside to be a little toasted while the inside is still nice and soft. That way the structure provided by the toasting layer keeps the sandwich together instead of it just getting all mushy and soggy. While our bread is toasting, let's go and prepare some of these ingredients a little bit more. Start with our onion. We're just gonna take this, and the important thing with the onion is you just want some very, very thin slices. It's all about the texture. If you make it too thick, it's gonna be overpowering. So we're just going to go into it just like starting from the top here and just slide it along the knife, just getting a real thin onion. Just, just, just a little bit. Just like this. So we, it's almost shredded at that point, but we'll just get a little bit more. And this looks like some good onion. Next we'll do our tomato. Now I'm working with a pretty sharp knife here, so I won't have a problem with the tomato. However, if your knife is a little duller, I would recommend using a serrated knife. So we're just gonna cut into it like that. Again, we want some kind of thin slices. If you make them too thick, they're just gonna be bulky inside the sandwich. So we want about three or four of these thin looking slices. Trying to cut into it and break the skin a little bit. Sounds like our bread is ready. All right, let's check these guys out. Mmm, perfect. Now look, you can get a little squish just to te test it. You should get a little bit of that crunch but yet it doesn't look brown or burnt or anything like that. We're not looking for toast, we're looking for toasted bread. Just gonna go ahead, lay down my toasted bread. We wanna use the bigger piece as our base. So now I am going to fetch the mayonnaise and we are going to just apply a very thin veneer of mayonnaise to this bottom slice of toasted bread. Now we're going to apply the cheese. Now normally I like to opt for the pre-sliced cheese and uh, I usually use pepper jack to give it a little bit more spice, a little more flavor. Today I just have some sharp cheddar in a block. This cheese is especially kind of crumbly when you go to it with a grater, so I'm actually going to be using a hard cheese grater which is going to shred the cheese. Um, but you still get a pretty consistent layer of it across the surface here which is all you really need for cheese on a sandwich. Let's add the turkey. I am using a oven roasted style of turkey and uh, I just feel like the smoked usually has a little bit too much flavor. It can be a bit overpowering. So we're just gonna put that 
down on the sanders like that. I keep it folded like this to give it a little bit more volume to the sandwich, but not in the sense where it's dense and kind of packed like a brick. So usually when you buy it, it's kind of pressed together. Go ahead and separate that and you can just kind of fold it into these kind of squiggly pieces. It makes it so much better. Time to add our fillings. So we've got our tomatoes. So let's just plop these down, just looking like this. Some of them fell apart, but that's okay. And you know, you kind of want to bulk up the sides a bit so you don't get a huge lump in the middle. So we'll do the same thing with our onions. And now for your tomatoes, um, I'm using a tomato on the vine. Um, I think I've found that beefsteak works really well. Romas work okay. Uh, they're just a little small for what you want and they can kind of, they're easier to slide out. Up next, we've got our jar of pepperoncini. So let's go ahead and open that. Mmm, wafting. And we'll just go in. I go in with my hands because I'm kind of filthy. Uh, but you can use, oh god, it's everywhere. I'm just using my forefingers here. Squeeze a little bit of the juice out, but you don't want to squeeze too much of it out because the juice actually has a lot of flavor, which is going to help out your sandwich here. And I just really like the taste of it, so I add a bunch of them. We'll just, yeah, just like that. Mmm, that's looking good. Up next, we're going to hit it with our balsamic glaze. So let's go ahead, shake that out, and just... Yeah, just give it a good layer like that. Now, the reason why I put on the balsamic now instead of at the end on top of the other piece of bread is because it gives us a good surface for our dry ingredients to stick to. So we're just going to douse it with some of the oregano here, just like that. Finish off with a little bit of the pepper. Not bad. Now I'm actually going to hold off on adding the arugula right now because I'm first going to prepare our second piece of toasted bread. So when we add the arugula, it kind of goes everywhere. So we have to have the bread ready and mayonnaised up so that we can slap it on top of the other sandwich stuff so it keeps the arugula in place. Otherwise, it's just falling all over the place. So we're gonna go back into our mayonnaise. Little dip like that and just spread. Looking pretty good. Next, we're gonna go in for our mustard, but first we're just gonna wipe our knife down with a little paper towel like that. Nice and clean for the mustard. And we're just gonna get probably about, I can find mustard to be a little overpowering. So we're just gonna do about this much. And we're just going to scrape that on. And we're just gonna mix it in with the mayonnaise. That's looking seasoned. And now for our finishing touch, the arugula. I'll just put that on. It's a little messy. Trying to do our best. Flatten it out a bit. And now we can slap this on. And that looks like our sandwich. Let's give this a little cut through. A little side like that. And just gently, you don't want to push all the ingredients out. And then we have our sandwich. Now that the sandwich is done, let's go ahead and plate that. We've got our plate. We've got our sandwich. Just put that on there. And you know, I always say it's a sin to serve a sandwich without chips. So we got a little bowl of chips to go with it. Look at that. Let's go in for the taste test. Mmm. That's juicy. What makes this sandwich so great is you have so many flavors coming together. You have the onion with the pepperoncini, you have the mustard, the vinegar, there's a real nice tang to it, especially with the juice of the pepperoncini. The uh, cheese gives it a nice kind of creamy complement with the mayonnaise. 
and there's always the nuttiness of the arugula. I always like to use arugula because it has that certain kind of flavor that you don't get with an ordinary lettuce kind of composite. I hope that all of you have enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you like it, please subscribe, comment, send a like. I would love to hear any of your suggestions or your comments. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm so hungry.